Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He's an actor whose profile is growing with every passing day. He's got those rugged good looks like Robert Downey Jr. or Javier Bardem. And he can bring menace or charm audiences and co-stars. After over a decade struggling to make a name for himself, Jeffrey finally received his due when he was cast as the dying love interest to Catherine Heigl in Grey's Anatomy. That same year, he was cast as Mary Louise Parker's dead husband in the hit show Weeds, and then as dad to the two leads in Supernatural. It was Grey's Anatomy that really put him on the map. Audiences became so attached to his character that when he was eventually killed off, fans were outraged. Bizarrely, in all three shows, his character was killed off, so Morgan had some free time on his hands, and he channeled all his energy into film. He was cast as a charming Irishman who woos Hilary Swank in P.S. I Love You, and followed it up with another female-friendly flick, The Accidental Husband, opposite Uma Thurman and Colin Firth, then had a small role in Ang Lee's Taking Woodstock. This set up what would become a career-defining year for Morgan when he was cast in the hotly anticipated superhero flick, Watchmen. He knew this could make or break him and spent months preparing for the role. I ate lots of raw eggs and uh, thought I was Rocky Balboa for about six months and uh, I had a costume that made me a hell of a lot bigger than I really am. Morgan's role was that of a gun-toting, cigar-smoking vigilante known as The Comedian. A graphic novel fan for years, Morgan wasn't just blown away by the sets. It's amazing. I mean, I feel like a kid in a candy store. The owl ship, perfect example. When I saw that thing, you know, I saw the, like, the fiberglass mold before they had actually, like, you know, done all the work on it. And I was like, you know, I mean, come on, how are they going to do that? Cut to, you know, four months later doing the Keen riots, and I look above me, and there's this owl ship. And it is so incredible. I mean, I want that thing. I just want to stick it in my backyard and sit in it every day. He was also thrilled by Watchmen creator Dave Gibbons' reaction to what they were achieving on set. It was like having your, your dad come to, to, to set and and uh, not only approve of, of what was going on, because I think we were all kind of, you know, a little bit nervous about what he would think. He drew every frame of this thing. And when he came on and, and you saw his face and you saw him see the things that we're talking about now that we find so amazing and staggering, and to see his, his eyes light up and his jaw go slack at, at seeing this very same things that make me have the same reaction, but knowing all the work he's been doing on this thing for you know, 20, 20 years ago, you know, he, he drew this thing. Um, and just have him, I mean, he had this the look of a proud father, and, and for all of us, um, uh, everybody that's been part of this movie, we all paid very close attention to, to Dave Gibbons and his reaction to this, because we were all very curious. And I, I don't know if, uh, if a cooler thing could have happened and, and there could have been a, a better reaction than what he had. The film was a success, and Morgan had proven himself. He was the lead in a blockbuster that had gone gangbusters at the box office. And the comparisons with Bardem or Downey Jr. started to take a back seat. At six foot two inches tall and solid, Morgan's frame lends itself to action films. He followed the success of Watchmen with The Losers. Morgan had been under intense fanboy scrutiny due to the fact Watchmen was an adaptation of a graphic novel. And when he was cast as badass Clay in The Losers, another graphic novel, his casting was applauded by fans everywhere which was no mean feat. And this is my second, my second graphic novel thing. And the great thing about having a graphic novel is you've got this, you've got this incredible foundation that you don't normally have in just having a script. I mean, you've got, you've got not only the words, but you've got images to, to help base uh, you know, your research on. The shoot was gruelling, but Morgan threw himself right into it. Puerto Rico, uh, beautiful place, but uh, unrelenting heat. Um, uh, it's incredibly hard to do an action movie when you uh, the humidity is such that it, it doesn't matter where or when you're shooting you're drenched um, uh, you're sweating profusely uh, add a black suit to the mix and about 60 pounds worth of guns carrying around and, and uh, you know try running through this 
this maze of, uh, of can containers behind me and uh, you know you're bound to get hurt <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna lose a lot of weight you can't drink enough water the losers was a return to action films of old with Morgan playing the leader of a motley bunch of ex CIA agents sent to the Bolivian jungle on a search and destroy mission it's a popcorn movie it's a it's one of those movies that you want to go to and just have a good time um, they, they, you know, they try to make these movies, and, and I don't know that they're done successfully anymore. I, the, those movies that uh, made such an impact on me, that wanted, that made me want to become an actor, um, this is one of those films. I think, uh, I think uh, people are going to watch this, and then they're going to, you know, go and play losers in the backyard. It's what movies are supposed to be. It's what I grew up watching. It's, it's a, kind of a throwback action movie in the, in the. Oh, I don't know. Uh, compare it to the Die Hards and the Lethal Weapons. It's it's got a, a ton of action and and um, and it has a sense of humor about it as well. Morgan's co-star, Avatar's Zoe Saldana, sees his tough guy characters slightly differently. I think he, Jeffrey and Clay definitely wear a suit very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, there, there's a lot of there's. They, 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 they have, um, they're sort of like teddy bears too. They have a heart of gold, both of them. So that was, I think that was very easy for you, in my opinion, for you to sort of, you know, channel that with clay. The teddy bear shot? No, yeah, gracias. <laughs> yes. Gracias, you just keep your bear. <laughs> as well as Zoe, Morgan's had memorable pairings with Katherine Heigl, Hilary Swank, twice, Kirsten Dunst, and Uma Thurman and life imitated art when Morgan hooked up with his Weeds co-star, Mary Louise Parker. The pair had a tumultuous relationship that saw them on, off, engaged, then off again. Currently, he's partnered to One Tree Hill star, Hilary Burton, and the couple recently welcomed a baby boy, giving Morgan's five-year-old son from a previous relationship a little brother. It now seems this on and off-screen lady killer has settled down for good. But it's not only the ladies that are taken with him, his colleagues can't speak highly enough of Jeffrey Dean Morgan either. He is really sort of handsome and rugged, but sensitive and sweet, you know? He's like a really kind, tough guy. So I think what he does is he appeals to the sort of universal desire for a bad boy um, with a real heart of gold. You know, he's actually, he's a really kind, sweet person who has a little bit of a sort of motorcycle riding exterior. And, you know, I think that's just lovely. It's good because he's both um, edgy and yet at the same time, he's not dangerous, you know? Um, and I think that's a great combination. So he's sort of, he's the sensitive tough guy as leading man is, uh, is pretty mercurial. If you can get your hands on it, which I think he has, um, you know, I think that there's something really going on for him now. With, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of him. And we think so too. So remember the name, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. His career is not just alive and kicking, it is heading directly for the stratosphere. And with a CV chockers full for the next couple of years with leading roles, we reckon very soon women will be swooning all over him and men will be wanting to be him. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.